Hello, my name is James Parks. I work with the Exeter Chiefs Rugby Club in the English Premiership and I help look after their sports nutrition. Today I'm here to talk to you about nutrition for the recreational athlete. All of you weekend warriors out there, this is for you guys. What's important? A couple of basic things that will really help you. Consistency being number one, if you can do good things all the time, you're going to be a lot better off than somebody who does a little bit of good followed by a little bit of bad. What does good look like, I hear you say? Pretty basic, really. We look at a balanced diet with lots of small feeds throughout the day, eating unprocessed foods. Really important. If you can get this right, then you're going to be a long way down the road to performing at, at optimal levels throughout the week. Be that in your training or in your, say, in your matches, games, runs, competitions, etc. What does a balanced diet look like? I think we all know that. Make sure we've got some protein on our plate, some unprocessed carbohydrate, so the closest to its original form it is, the better it is to eat. I.e., brown, brown, say brown rice would be better than white rice, which would be better than white pasta, uh, and so forth. If it's dug, picked, plucked, or grown, then it's going to be a lot better for you than anything that's processed and comes out of a packet. What else is important? As we all know, hydration is very, very important in sports performance. A small deficit in hydration can mean large deficit in sports performance. How can we measure this? Pretty easy. There's a couple of ways. You jump on the scales. Any weight you've lost from the start of the session to the end of the session, replace a rate of 1 to 1, i.e. 500 grams would replace half a, half a kilogram of weight loss. Really nice and easy. Make sure we add some salts to that. No problems at all there, and that will help with hydration levels. Post-exercise, what's important? That that's where recovery comes in. Recovery, really, really easy one. The three main pillars are sleeping, eating, and drinking correctly. Make sure we get eight hours a night, no problems there. The earlier you get to bed, the better. And after that, say round, say round well-balanced meals post-exercise, followed by the hydration protocols that we went through earlier. That's enough for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope to speak to you again soon.